Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim. All right, when we left off, we were searching her mother's lab, uh, Valerica's lab, rather, uh, trying to find. Oop, want to pick that up real quick, because that's useful. Uh, trying to find a journal or some sort of notes that we could try and figure out what to do with. And we did find that, so now mm -hmm. we're going to hand it to Serana. Yeah, your mother maintained quite a laboratory. I had no idea her laboratory even existed. Yeah? She had an alchemy set up in her drawing room, but nothing that even comes close to what's here. What did she research? Looking at the equipment and materials, it looks like she was trying to advance her necromancy. Hmm. To what end? I don't know. Certainly not longevity. Kind of a waste of time for a vampire. Yeah. I think we already went through that. I don't know why it was white. <laughs> Uh, I found your mother's notes. You did? Let me see them. <laughs> Just snatch them from me, why don't you? What's the soul cairn that she mentions? I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems. That the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. Oh. Why did she care when... Wait. Ugh. I speak for a living. Why did she care where you souls went? The Soul Cairn is home to very powerful beings. Oh. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. Mm -hmm. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the Soul Cairn itself. If she made it there, we'll find her. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. Has to be. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the Soul Cairn. Awesome. What do we need? A handful of soul gem shards, some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified void salts. Oh, damn it. What's wrong? We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. Yeah, that kind of shitty. You share her blood. Hmm, not bad. Yeah. I better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... Gruesome. Anyway, what do you mean gruesome? Let's get started. Okay. Are all of those ingredients here? Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. You just need to find them. Okay. Finally ground bone meal and purified void salts. We found most of those running around checking shit out. Uh, yeah, there it is. Finally ground bone meal. Uh, trying to figure out where the rest of the stuff was. While also trying to find new stuff, because apparently I looked over a few. Uh, elves here. That's always useful. Nightshade. Uh, River Betty's not as useful as I thought they would be. Um, Barrett's Ashes. The fuck is Barrett's Ashes? Uh, fuck. What the hell is this shit? Okay, I guess I'll have to look that up and I get that shit later. Figure out what that's for. Uh, B! There we go. Good shit. Um, yeah, nothing over here. Okay. Um, oh, I just saw some lockpicks. There we go. I saw them out of the corner of my eye when I was turning. Alright. Let's look up here. Ooh. Soul gem shards. There we are. Wait. Oh, I thought there was a black soul gem here that I was missing. Damn. That would have been cool. Um, and something up here, I think. Yeah, purified void salts. There we go. Now we just hand them over to Serana. Get the ingredients in that vessel and let me know when you're ready. In the vessel. Anything you can tell me about the Soul Cairn before we go? The Soul Cairn is a tiny sliver of oblivion, the realm of the Daedra. Okay. It's ruled by unseen beings known as the Ideal Masters. And I've never heard about them before. Why? <laughs> uh, why was your mother so fascinated by it? Honestly, I don't know. Necromancers are always interested in souls, though, so that probably has some kind of interest. Good point. Uh, what exactly are the Ideal Masters? Nobody really knows. As really? far as I've heard, no one's seen them and returned to Tamriel to tell about it. Ah. Uh, 
they're that kind of ideal masters. Okay, okay, I see how that goes. Uh, so, then how are you sure they even exist? I've read stories. Stories about fools that manage to communicate with them. Ah. You give the ideal masters souls, they give you powers to summon the undead. It's all very businesslike. Uh huh. Fools, why do you say that? Because most of the stories end with the Ideal Masters duping the Necromancers, who end up dead or wishing they were dead. Ah. Sneaky. Sounds like most politicians and business people in America. Wazang! Okay, let's fucking get the shit in the vessel. Shut me the fuck up. Alright, it's all in there. Definitely looks and like the it. The rest is up to me. Yep. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Good point. Uh, can I ask you something first? Of course. What is it? Uh, what will we do, what will you do, when we find your mother? I've been asking myself the same thing since we came back to the castle. Mm -hmm. She was so sure of what we did to my father. I couldn't help but go along with her. I never thought of the cost. Hmm. Found. Like she didn't know what she was thinking. Neither do I. She always seemed happy before we heard the prophecy. And then it all changed. She became a different person. They both did. Uh. We won't know until we find her. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. I just didn't expect anyone to care how I felt about her. Thank you. Are you're we welcome. ready then? Uh, not entirely yet. All right, here we go. That. Yes, you're. Are we ready then? Uh, that's weird. I can't really back out of that. Let's get that portal right. open. Here goes. I probably should have waited on the question then, because I was planning on dropping all the shit I have in my ancestors inventory. Oh. Okay. That doesn't seem like a portal into the underworld or I'm gonna lose my soul or anything. Ow, 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 ow. Are you alright? That looked painful. Yeah! Yeah, it was a little painful. What the fuck happened? Now that I think about ah. it, I should have expected that. Sorry. It's hard to describe. What? The soul cairn is... Well, hungry, for lack of a better word. It's trying to take your life essence as payment. So there's no way in yet, then? There might be, but I don't think you're going to like it. Vampires aren't counted among the living. I could probably go through there without a problem. Okay. Are you saying I need to become a vampire, then? Not your first choice, I guess. No, I like being a werewolf. There has to be another one. Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. Um, sorry? Wouldn't that kill me? My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the ideal masters. It might be enough to satisfy them. Okay. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel through the soul cairn, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. Okay, those are my only options. I'm sorry. I wish I knew a better way, something that would be easier for you. Nah, don't worry Just about it. Whatever path you choose, I won't think any less of you. Sometimes things just have to be done. I know that better than anybody. Good point. Um, before we do that, before we do that, I'm going to drop off all of my stuff that I need to sell to have my weight down a little bit while we're through there. I don't want to have to deal with being overburdened while I'm running around in the soul cairn. So, for the time being, hopefully this one... I'm going to head over to the nearest town and sell off shit and I'll probably cut that out. <laughs> so, be right back! Alright, I'm back. Let's uh, continue on with this little quest here.
Ow, ow, that hurt a little. What now? Uh, soul trap me. I won't feel right as a vampire. Are you sure? I'm willing to do it, but you need to think it through. You'll remain mortal, but you'll find yourself weakened within the soul care. I'm ready. I know this is difficult for you. I hope you trust me. I do. I never do anything that could hurt you. I trust you completely. Thank you. Let's not waste any more time then. Alrighty. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. Okay. Let's go. Uh, Your mother must be waiting on the other side of that thing. We can soul added. Let's look at that uh, uh, effect. Uh, probably under magic before we do anything. Uh. Yeah, it's not really showing it. Okay. Well then. In we go. All right. Well, we'll find out what it looks like in just a moment. Argonians can breathe underwater and are 50% resistant to diseases. The Hiskin power allows them to regenerate health quickly for a short time. Well, that's kind of useful. All right. Whoa. Good lord. Oh my shit. Well, there's a spirit right there. Let's talk to them. The clouds. The sky. It's all wrong. Everything's wrong. You're not exactly wrong. Leave me be. Okay. I shall not trouble you then. Whoa. What on earth is that? All right. That's a thing. Uh. There's no escape. Apparently not. That thing is really creepy. Oh, my lord. This is not a place you want to end up. Holy shit. Whoop. Bone man. That's a thing. And they're able to resist fire. That's not good. Up, ow. There you go. Down you go. Soul embers. Hey, hey. Those are pretty good. Those are pretty good to get after killing those things. And what kind of souls do they take? That's a question. Um... Apparently lesser, because I know I had five when I came in here. Alright, that's something, anyway. Something to, uh, know. Let's swap to the crossbow for the time being. I don't want to be capturing every single soul of those things or while I'm in here. I'll definitely capture anything else. What is this? Whoo! I think that's the, uh, thing that reheals your resource bars, the magic of stamina and health whenever you jump into it, I think. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong. I'm pretty sure. What the? Oh, geez. You're right there. That's not good. Oh, you fuck it. Oh, I'm just gonna be hitting you with these bolts then. Oh. You are... You're an evil little bastard, aren't you? Up, oh, I'm in a corner. Okay. That's not helping me in any way. There we go. Now it's getting the stagger off. There we go. Oh. Ow. And. Alrighty. Let's just pick up your embers here. And it didn't save any of my bolts. Okay, how many do I have? 384. That took I think by my count almost 10. Uh, maybe 12 or 13. So, that's not great. Ooh, what is this? Soul fissure. Soul harvested. What does that mean? What the hell does that mean? 
I think that means we're sell, uh, gathering souls to fill up the rest of my soul gems through those sort of things. Okay. Born Enchanter, this place... Mind you, I say that with the uh, thought in mind that this place is fucked up. Holy shit. Alright. Now, is there a way to get my soul fixed? It's right. I've stories about the soul care, but never thought I'd see it myself. So far, it's about what I imagined. Good to know. Uh, do you know anything about this place? Just what my mother told me. I've also studied a little bit on my own, but there's not much. Okay. When something is trapped in a soul gem, and then the energy is used for powering an enchantment, the remnants are sent here. Okay. Any soul gem? Well, I think it's specifically the black ones. Okay. I don't know if the soul cairn takes just any leftovers. Does anything live here? Look at this place. Do you think anything would want to live here? The only Good things point. that can survive here are the ideal masters, the undead, and the souls themselves. Well, if you want to call that living. Good point. Uh, do you think we'll meet the ideal masters? I don't think anyone's ever met the ideal masters. I'm not even sure anyone knows what they look like. They could be underground, flying above us. They might be the ground, I, I have no idea. Why are they c collecting these souls, then? Lots of theories. Some say they feed on them like I feed on blood. Uh -huh. Others think they use them as payment to an even higher power. Almost like a currency. A very strange currency. Yeah, you're not Whatever wrong. Whatever they're doing with them, they've been harvesting for millennia. No telling how many souls are trapped here. Why would a necromancer want to deal with them, then? Look around you. There are some extremely powerful undead here. Even a necromancer True. as seasoned as my mother would be willing to spend years trying to gain access to them. Summon them, you mean? Exactly. It's a lost art. Most necromancers just raise up whatever bodies are nearby. A simple trick, really. Child's play. That's true. But bringing something from the soul cairn gives you something much more powerful. How do the necromancers communicate with them? Oh, that's usually the trick. It's possible to do it through a simple portal. But to finalize the deal, you have to travel here yourself. And most of them never come back. Good point. Uh, I think we should part ways. Yeah, I'll just leave you here in the middle of the soul cairn. Alright. That's good to know. I think... Yeah, there it is. Locate... Uh... Valerica. And... Isn't there a quest for me to find my soul? Something? I guess I gotta locate Valerica first and she'd be able to tell me. Okay, let's go do that then. I want to search these little buildings that we come across, though. Uh, oops, that's not what I meant to press. Just on the off chance there's something cool that we can bring back to the uh, rest of the world. Uh... Yeah, I knew I saw a chest here. Ransel gem, coin purse. Jube's opus. I don't really want to read that. Let's open this chest. Not that many good things. Yeah, we do. I do kind of feel like I'm being watched by something. Okay, let's see if this will do anything. Nope. Okay, that does nothing at all. Just something pretty there. So it was this. Okay, well, that was a wonderful endeavor. Let's look over here. I kind of want to explore every building because I know there's something in each of them that I can then take and use. Um, these. These look important. Not entirely sure why they look important, but they look important. I want to. Uh, hey, hey, hey! I'm a smart cookie. I honestly didn't actually know that. I was just playing that by ear. Awesome! Now I know. Uh, greater soul gem. Another page of the opus. Um, grand soul gem. Okay. Oh, and that's a chest. Cool. Uh, petty. So, so far, these chests have fuck all. 
All right. Well, now we know how this place works, more or less. We know how those work. And we know that there is increasingly powerful souls and ways to summon, you know, allies and whatnot in the soul cairn. It's nice. That's awesome. That's something we're definitely going to look into doing, but we're going to do that in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.